So in order to motivate, you know, this, and this is an example that I have also shown you in the linear regression class, in order to, you know, use this, uh, you know, uh, intuition, what is happening, let's take this, you know, example that we have, right? So right now we have uh, essentially, um, uh, you know, this data set that we have, where we have movies and we have ratings for the movies, and then we also have a final sales with respect to the movies that are out there, right? So if that is the case, what we want to do is we want to, you know, probably predict a model or filter model that given a rating, okay, what will be the final sales of a new movie? And so what we want to do is we want to learn from this, right? So if we want to understand, right, uh, this problem, one of the ways we can think about, right, what is happening uh, in this problem, the input is essentially the rating that we have, okay? And that is going to give me an output, which is essentially the final sales of the corresponding movie, okay? And there is something in between which is acting as a function or a regressor, which is doing this mapping between rating to the final sales, right? So there is a computational unit uh, that is there that does this input to output mapping, okay? Now in neural network framework, this computational unit, which does this input to output mapping is known as neuron. So one way to think about what we are talking about, and this is something that will be, you know, recurring multiple times that uh, in the neural network frameworks, we will be calling neuron, but essentially you can think about it is a computational unit that takes an input and that gives you an output, okay? Now, in this case, what we have, if you, you know, use your information from the prior uh, understanding, we have only one feature and only one output. So if here is a sing single computational unit, a neuron is being used to do input to output mapping. So what happens typically in the neural network framework is we, rather than just using a single unit, a single computational unit, we are focused on creating a sort of network. And let me give you an example of why the network is needed so that you can understand why we want to build upon a single unit and why we want to do, you know, you know this. So again, the idea would be to, you know, fit a function, which essentially is a regression function. Right? that allows you to fit a function something like this. Once you fit it on the data, you should be able to you know, find a new movie for which the rating is given. And using this point, you should be able to predict what is going to be the, you know, the final movie sales. That's the idea behind this. But as I said, this is just a simple single unit where, where really only one feature is there, one, and there is only one output that is out there. But we can actually use this idea and use this building block and we can build complex network. Right. So right now, what we did in the previous slide is we have the ratings and we have the building blocks, right? And this allows us to do the movie sales, right? But as I mentioned, um, there, there are other attributes that could be also important to us in this settings. For example, we might have data with respect to the marketing budget that was spent in marketing the movie itself. And that might be a feature that might improve the movie sales, right? So rather than just having ratings, we can use also marketing as a uh, marketing budget as an input. So now when we are doing and including this marketing budget aspect, we're adding another computational unit somehow, right? And another neuron to this overall thing. And this is how we are stacking up multiple single neurons, which basically correlates the single feature to the output. And we can also use other features. For example, the first week cell. And the final week sales is obviously dependent upon the first week sales because, you know, if the first week sales is high, then probably a lot of people have seen it, they like it, and they are using their word of mouth, and that is, you know, percolating to other people, and they will also eventually come and watch. And that might influence the final movie sales volumes by that. So that might be another feature. But if you want to account for that another feature in the neural network, we have to add another computational unit or another neuron in this overall building block. So the stacking of single computational unit, now we can see the one that I showed in the previous, which was single feature. We have now, you know, this building block that we have, okay? And then we have also, you know, this building block that we are taking. So we have now used three 
computational unit in order for us to you know predict what is going to be the movie sales so this stacking or this inclusion of multiple different building blocks or legos or neurons in a network form is essentially the idea main idea behind the neural networks that allows us to do input to output mapping so the key things stack stacking multiple single neurons in a network format that is essentially what is known as neural network and i want to stop and say what is neuron neuron is a computational unit and we will go into more details about that computational units in a bit okay so let's move on to the next slide okay so here is another example that i'm giving here what i've done is on top of ratings marketing budget and first movie sales we have also added a feature called actors now we know that depending upon which actor is in the movie that might influence you know the movie sales on top of that we have also added you know this hidden units or separate you know neurons even before the predicting the final movie right and this is something that we can do what we can do is we can take the ratings we can pass on to another neuron which does this competition and that information is then passed off to the neuron that does the final movie sales prediction right so what we can do is we can not only just stack the input directly to the output but in between those input we can also stack and you know include some more neurons and this is the idea that is widely used because this class of you know including more neurons helps us in increasing the efficiency or the efficacy of predicting the output models right and so we can do something like this that between the input feature and the output we can build and add additional computational units additional lego blocks additional neurons in a network form and one thing that i want to point out when we do this in neural network it is generally assumed that everything is connected to everything so this neuron is taking input from all the four units that we have this neuron is taking input from all the four input vectors and this neuron is also taking input from all the four when we move forward the output neuron this neuron is taking input from all the neurons in the preceding layer and this is uh, just done so that we can have a simple accounting and we can have a computational framework that is uh, you know easy to process but you know when we have the stacking of multiple hidden units output and multiple layers we essentially have now a networks of computational unit which is basically you know denoted by the edges and the you know nodes that you see in this diagram and that is essentially known as a neural network okay so each of this as i mentioned each of the single units takes input from all the input features that we have and what is the pr primary function at the end of it the primary function of any neural network is to predict the output value this might be movie sales which might be a class of a given problem which might be you know um uh predicting the probability of pixel belonging to some other class in semantic segmentation and, and so on so depending upon different task this y cap might be different but essentially there is some prediction that we are doing given that we have some input vector so that's the primary function so it's like, so think about when we started with a single neuron instead of that single neuron now we have a networked set of multiple neuron and we have now the ability to customize and create a very complex input to output mapping and this is the main reasoning why neural networks are becoming so popular that they can actually fit very nice and very complex into input to output mapping that are fairly accurate in doing their job okay so that you know not so what is neural network which is essentially a network of neurons or network of computational units that we have 